So a process description, and that might sound like a fairly trivial thing to do. Um, for those of you whom I've worked with will know that when we're putting a process architecture together, we like to capture the process description, a little short description for every process as we go. Because inevitably, when you end up with hundreds of processes, uh, you know, there'll be some confusion about what was actually meant by that process if you don't capture it pretty quickly after it's been named. So, so you know, this is an example here. This is a, a process here. We're evaluating some proposals that have been received. And, and this is what I mean by a process description. Um, we don't want to write a, a full page about it. We just a, just a short paragraph. But a good way to think about it is those five W's, you know, just in brief form, without any particular formula for how to do it, but in brief form, just make sure we've covered, you know, who, who, is, who, who does this, uh, what it's about, why it's important, perhaps where it's done and, and when it's done. Uh, we can end up with some process descriptions, you know, that are very cryptic. The evaluate proposal process evaluates the proposals. Now, you know, that's not much of a description, is it? That didn't help anyone. And I confess to have written descriptions like that uh, sometimes, uh, but I try not to these days. I try and to try to capture it in this kind of form. Mm -hmm.